welcome to ECS Coffee. Today we're in Burlington to introduce you to the new Baratza Encore ESP. ESP. I was going to just call it the Espresso, but <laughs> well, they shortened well, it. Yeah. So I'm here today with Rebecca, and we're just going to introduce this lovely, it comes in white and black, but today we're showing you the white model and all the new upgrades um, that come with the new Baratza ESP. Yeah, so as you can see, it does look really similar to the Baratza Encore, if you are familiar with that one. It has the quick dose touch here, so if you wanted to quickly dose out some coffee beans, you could do that right there. And you have your on-off switch, still just located on the side of the grinder. So they didn't upgrade the dosing, so it's just on or off. Just on or but off. But they gave you something a little bit extra to maybe help you out with the dosing. Which is the dosing cup. So you do get a little <laughs> dosing cup with the machine. It is suitable to dose for 58 millimeter portafilters or 54 millimeter portafilters. If you have your black rubber gasket on, you're going to be dosing for a 58. So this is compatible with a 58 millimeter portafilter. Boop. Pretty and amazing. Then, I, I think that's amazing. I know. Mm -hmm. And then you also have, if you take it off, it's dosing for a 54 millimeter, so it'll fit nicely onto like a Breville. Express. Barista Express or something <laughs> like that, yeah. which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely a really great upgrade. You also have in here, just to secure the dosing cup, a little rubber plate, so it sits nicely in there. And then when you're not using that, it's the same as the, uh, the other basket. version. So you yeah. can uh, dose um, a filter basket yeah, amount into amounts. there. Exactly. Yeah. So they've really geared this uh, grinder towards espresso users as opposed to your traditional drip coffee or French press brewers, people that drink those types of coffee. So on this unit, you've got still 40 total grind sizes, um, but half of those are for espresso specifically. And then half of those are for your drip coffee all the way up to cold brew French press. So it does get quite coarse, um, but we're gonna grind and t see the consistency on espresso versus how it gets when it goes to the coarser settings like the cold brew and the French press. Because oftentimes you lose a little bit of that consistency the coarser you go. Right. And with the upgraded burrs, this machine has the M2 burrs. I'm curious to see if that consistency stays or if we kind of lose it a little bit so if, if I didn't know what an M2 burr is, can you explain that? Maybe just a little bit of the looks and what that offers you. For sure. So the M2 burr is what's in this grinder and what is also in the Brazza Virtuoso Plus. Mm -hmm. It has sharper edges on its burr. So when you're looking at it from the surface, from the top, it's sharper. It's supposed to provide you with a more consistent grind size, especially for espresso, grind faster and also reduce the static. Is it, is it quieter also? It is quieter. Right. And the motor is quieter on this one as well. Now, our, our Encore is a little older, so our regular one, so maybe that but that's contributes okay. to it. That's all right. But it's a very quiet grinder. The Virtuoso um, Plus has these burrs as well, like I said, but the regular Bratz Encore has the M3 burrs. So those burrs are still obviously sharp because it's still cutting through coffee beans but it is flat All and right. then it has sharp edges on the side. So mm -hmm. these ones have razor sharp edges for their burrs and the regular Encore is a little duller, but you right. still, of course, it's a great grinder. You still get a nice consistent grind. So, so um, what I also like about this, my, uh, my first peak is I liked that um, questions I get for beginner um, espresso people, yeah. you know, customers, is that they have actually shown you a small um, little dots and then larger dots over here to let you know that the smaller number is finer and the larger num number is, is more coarse or a bigger size of bean. Yeah, exactly. And in your manual as well, if you pick, decide to pick one of these guys up, they have a really good guide in there for your range yeah. to set your settings for That's good. your Hario or your Aeropress, very like common ways of brewing. So I think it's probably 
um, a perfect all around it grinder? Is. Yeah. But we'll, we'll yeah. Test okay. The yeah. I want to see how it. Uh, let's do some Compares. consistency, and then we are going to use it to pull a shot with the Lilit Bianca nice. to see how it performs. Yeah. We love this machine. As long so as I not? get to drink it, I'm up. Oh, fair <laughs> enough. Okay, that's fair. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let me grab some beans. Sure. Uh, what are you feeling today? Ooh, I'm always feeling. Espresso, Colombian, our Colombian, Colombian? espresso, 1.21. If we have an, if not, 88 is great. So we're using our 1.21 Colombian espresso. Mm -hmm. This is one of our staff picks. This was my staff pick. And I why? Love. Could it be the chocolate creamy notes? Could be. <laughs> it's super tasty. Yeah. But also, since it's nice and fresh, it's, it'll also help to reduce the static as well. Do we want to change it first before we add beans to what range we oh, think? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, what do you want to grind for first to test consistency? We're good. Do you want to grind for... Let's check out um, what number 10 is, or do you want to do 20? No, I'm good with that, yeah. 10. Let's do 10, and then we can go to 20, and then do 30 and 40. Because I was kind of thinking we'll halfway in the espresso range, yeah. um, when it switches from espresso to coffee, yeah. and then when it switches again. Awesome, okay. Right. So let's add these beans up. Oh, let's use the dosing cup, yeah. too, yeah. to see how Are we brewing, or are we just looking right it's now? Redu reduced. Oh, yeah. We're oh yeah, gonna... well, we haven't dialed it in. Right. So All right. The Bianca, luckily though, is like the Mara, where it doesn't take a ton of time to dial no. in, so we'll be fine. And yeah. you can adjust the pressure. We can play with all that stuff. Right. Okay. So I'll let I'll let you do the honors. <sighs> so we're gonna hold the button, or yeah. we can turn, turn it on. on. So I guess at this point we'd be eyeballing how much you want until get you get used to it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You could dose this out and measure weigh your coffee beans before putting them in. It smells so good. And then I know. We're always it's walking really around smelling. consistent. Yeah. We do we want to put it on a maybe a white oh, background? Let me, also? let me grab a uh, paper towel or something. Yeah, it looks really looks really good. Here we go. Yeah, look, leaves yeah, are good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so I was nervous with the dosing cup that there was going to be grinds going everywhere. But there's not a single grind on the countertop, which is so amazing. A I mess is consistent with me. <laughs> no, no, absolutely. Well, it means that there's yeah. a lot of fines, right? Yeah, for sure. So, OK, great. I'm going to dump some of these guys out onto my little paper towel. Oh, maybe dumped a little too much. Get that back in there. OK. OK, so that's the espresso. It's really consistent. It's super consistent. It looks about what I would um, initially try for this machine. Yeah, me too. So, so we'll and then that. I was thinking on the um, with the regular Encore. I think um, with the Rocket Apartmento, I was all the way down at grind size number two. I know on the regular Encore. And so I think even with the Bianca and the Mara, which we were able to get shots from with the regular Encore, we were still hovering around the three or four mark. Mm -hmm. So you have a huge range to play with there, mm. which is awesome. Okay. So are we going to change it to 20 while it's running or? Yeah, let me just, oh yeah, I'll do that. I'll turn it on for you. Mm -hmm. so Always change this. your grand size, size while it's running. Running. <laughs> okay. How many times can we say that? Lots. Lots. Okay. Just say it over we'll and over We'll just do it a little, a little buzz. Yeah. And that's all we need. Okay. Oh, so. Okay, that was our 10, this is our 20. So definitely a big a difference there. But like not not huge. You so on the on a regular encore, your jump from 20 to 10 is massive. Is big. On this one, oh, yeah. there's a there's a jump, definitely. Uh, so this is like sand. Yeah. This one is more like a sand than, than the first one yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. So we're like we like playing in the muck. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So hmm. it's really subtle, but uh, definitely a difference in grind size. So that's yep. awesome. So where do we want to go now? Now we'll jump up to 30. So we'll put it there. Yeah. Yep. Oh, so we're starting to get some grinds hopping out. So let's, oh yeah, you can see that. Let's switch to our basket. Yeah. Shove that in there. Yeah. Oh. oh. Ledge. All this I fancy know. stuff that's not on mine at home. Accessories. Should be enough. Yeah. yeah, that's drip, but 
Losing a little bit of the consistency, it looks like, compared to the espresso. Yeah, that's like, that would be good for, that was almost at French press, but it that is. would be good for Chemex, for sure. Maybe a little coarse for Chemex, actually. Yeah, it's a little coarse. But almost French press. So, so I it, think in the manual it recommended 32 for French press, so that makes sense Makes to sense. Me. Yeah. yeah. All right. Awesome. Let's uh, jump to 40, too. You want to go all the way up to 40? I want to see what it does. Wild woman. It's getting okay. crazy today. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. It's a two-person job. You can make anything a two-person job. I can. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. A little bit all over the place. Uh, well, so you can see there's bigger bits yeah, and definitely. smaller bits in yeah. there. So cold brew. 40 yep. would be cold brew, 30, 32 would be French press. Um, but you definitely add some static here and some, well, some fines. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's still bit jumping of, out. I know, a <laughs> little bit of staticky, but uh, you don't have that on your espresso, which is what this grinder is more geared towards. So kind of impressed, that's awesome. That's awesome. I know, that is. Um, all right, let's pull a shot with right. the Grinder, I'm gonna get dial it all the, it I'm in. gonna try and get it down now. Would you like your dosing cup? <laughs> <laughs> this is go. so cool. I know. I, li I like this. <laughs> it's too short. I know. <laughs> so the, yeah, this popper kind of jiggles. We have it in right? Yeah, we do, for sure. I think that's good. Oh yeah? Yeah. Eyeballer. Might not be enough. We'll see. Please. That's like a half a shot. <laughs> okay. So weigh your espresso. Don't eyeball it like us. It's probably fine, actually. Here. I like lots of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Looks about a little less to me, but we'll see. Was it perfect? It looks pretty good, actually. All right, let's see. So, we'll see what she looks like. I guess for me, I'm always overfilling. Oh, well. Okay. One, One two. two, three. Fingers crossed. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, she's pretty. A, she's a thing of beauty down there. Yeah. Nice. All right. Smell it. See the smell. It smells better. Oh, I think there's just... still some adjustments to do, but, but it's definitely yeah. palatable for yeah. sure. Do you want a flat white while we have this machine powered on? Sure. Okay. I'll get the milk for you. Right. So we're gonna make a flat white while we have our Lilette Bianca on. Um, but this espresso shot, you can see here, we've got a really rich crema. Uh, we would definitely need to do a little bit more dialing in and potentially, it would be better if we weighed our coffee as well. Mm -hmm. Of course. For consistency. Yeah. So we'll be right back. Oh, there you go. Lord. Oh, thank you. Made with love. <laughs> <laughs> as long so as it, it should be. Good. So it should be. It should be delicious. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. It's really good. <laughs> All right. Fantastic. All right. Okay. So, um, back to the Baratza grinder. So, so partnered with a scale. Yeah. That would uh, next would, level. It would. This grinder would be. A, that would be a game changer for this setup because yeah. that's what we're lacking right now. We don't mm -hmm. have a scale here. Um, we should have thought about doing that, but oh well. I, I'm usually pretty good at eyeballing. Um, and I was put too much in. And I think my <laughs> ego was a little bit too much there, so oh well. But yeah, so this guy here, let's, uh, the gasket on this is different. So we're gonna, right. let's look, have a look inside at the burrs. I wanna just tip them out on here. Oh yeah, we got beans in there. We got beans. Let's put them into the lid. We only have a couple. 
Yeah, yeah, I just don't want you to run out of court space. Ooh. Could have definitely just ground these out. Yeah, it's this better for people to see what they taken. Mess they can. So if you see as I'm popping it out, it's the same as the other encore. The white line is to the right at the 40, just past the 40 position arrow when you seat it in. Yep. Right. So this one, they also upgraded how you remove the burr. So it's a lot easier to remove oh. your ring burr and your cone burr now. And you also have a gasket. So your gasket is sitting in your hopper. I was like looking at it and I was like, where is it? Because it was on the burrs before. But when you receive your machine, if you're unboxing it and putting it together, your gasket will be on your hopper at the base. That's so much easier. It was so much easier to put together. There's no gasket to go around the ring burr anymore. It's That's just amazing. this gasket here and it goes inside. So you For can people that was a real struggle, so I'm, I'm I know. very, very happy about that. So right here, you've also got larger and clearer messages as to where to put the burrs when you take it apart. So red notch, red notch. Five o'clock position still, which, yes. so they haven't changed that, nope. which is good. Nope, but it's yeah. a lot more clear, which mm -hmm. is great. Um, quick release for the cone burr as well, so that's right there. And uh, yeah, if you need so if you to get in to there. Just take it out and just yeah. wipe it down. To give it a good clean. Off. Right, awesome. You of course still get your brush. tree brush with the tree, machine. Tree it looks like a little Christmas it tree. It actually does. Yeah. I've never. <laughs> so you're gonna call it that from now on, right? I am. So tree yeah. brush. Um, and so since this guy has the M2 burrs, uh, you're gonna notice here that it's a lot sharper. So just use caution and care when taking them apart. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. it is. They are sharp. Wow. Yeah. Very sharp, actually. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So. That's this grinder. I love it. I I do as well. I'm very, so, very happy uh, with this. Is, is it, like, how much of a cost? Like a $50 bump did they do around? It's, in Canadian dollars, it's around $280. Um, so it is, okay. Quite so a, you thing, are, a little you are bit of a jump. you paying for the burrs. I mean, it's amazing to have it all in one, um, but just, just keep that in mind that it might be also worth upgrading with the burrs and you can buy them separate at some point. Some for sure. to your old Encore. I, now, I'm curious to see if you still get the as big of a range for Espresso, if you just upgrade your burrs. Okay. So maybe we'll have to have a look at that because we do have the Virtuoso Plus that has the M2 Two burrs. Hours. So yeah, maybe stay tuned and we'll do a comparison between the three. There you go. The three brats. Okay, that's awesome. All right. Good, yeah. I think that's everything. Uh, same size as the regular Encore as well, so it'll fit on your countertop. Wendy already mentioned it, but comes in the black color as well. Um, when we put it together, it was super simple, easy yeah. operation, consistent grind size. Yeah. It's quiet. Yeah, it's, it's, it, in here it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, but it's when subtle. It's quieter than the other grinders, right. I noticed, which is mm -hmm. great. It has the DC motor as well, so fast and efficient, really quick. It's awesome. So great for grinding a whole bag of coffee if yes. you wanted to. Yep, absolutely. All right, All right. so, well, Excellent. that's everything, I guess. Thank yeah. you so much for tuning in and watching, guys. If you liked our video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Follow us on all of our social media channels as well to stay up to date with us. And hit that bell button to be notified when we upload new content. Take care. Bye-bye.